2702 Rockwood Travel Trailer just came on trade here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And we are extremely familiar with this RV because we sold it brand new about a year, year and a half ago, something like that. Uh, the folks had, uh, I don't believe they'd owned one before. This was kind of an experiment for them. They enjoyed it and just wanted to go a little bit larger. So uh, when it came time to trade in, we were one of the first places they came back to. Um, you know, we weren't the only place they looked at, but we demonstrated our willingness to, uh, you know, keep a good customer happy. And we are in their business a second time. A couple things on Rockwood here. There's a reason they're the number one selling ultralight and have been for many years. The construction in the lightweight trailers is absolutely beyond compare. You can walk up to a lot of uh, laminated RVs, smooth skin trailers, and thump on the sidewall. And you're like, oh wow, that's pretty solid, that's cool. Turn real quick and look at the sidewall, the slide out. Do the same thing. This is fully laminated. Every side of this trailer, every wall, every roof and floor of this trailer is fully vacuum laminated. If you don't know the difference between vacuum lamination and other ways of putting smooth skin like this on a trailer, please call us so we can explain because there are differences and you do get what you pay for. That is true in every walk of life including buying an RV. Um, this thing is extremely well equipped. You're going to notice a couple really nice things. Gigantic power awning that goes, what is that, it's roughly 18, maybe 20 foot. Um, the uh, Again, the rear wall, this is another place you can uh, just, not that it's a rule, but an indicator. Walk up to the back of another RV and thump on it. Again, this is fully laminated. This has a fully laminated walkable roof. A lot of times, actually, if you uh, watch my videos here on our website, you'll get to see me walking on the roof of these Rockwoods because they are truly walkable. The uh, previous owners were kind enough to put Max Air Cover right here in the bathroom vent fan so that you can run that when it's raining. Always a very nice thing to keep air moving in here. Um, this is set up so that you can simply take a TV off the swing arm inside, mount it in these little slots and watch TV outdoors. Your TV hooks up right down here. You have your grilling station right next door. If you're a tailgater, maybe you watch sports, you're a race fan. This is perfect. This is, this is good living right here. Let's step inside real quick. Oh, they added on a, uh, a handy little pull bar. They had a young uh, little daughter, and uh, I remember when I was a kid, I couldn't reach the handle to shut the door, and I always pulled on this, and it was plastic, and I kept breaking it, so they installed a handle for their daughter. That's pretty smart, actually. Beautiful trailer. Beautiful trailer. Um, we, Man, we still sell a lot of these, and this looks exactly like the, it did the day it was here and it smells better. <laughs> you know, they always have that new RV smell when you first take them home, and uh, this thing is, is it's flawless. It looks exactly like it did the day it left. And again, like I was telling you that your construction, it's, it's, it's built like a tank. It's rock solid all the way around. Now, what's neat is since your kitchen's in the slide, you get an extra deep countertop. So you get all this countertop space back here that normally you would not receive. And notice how they put handy little power outlets right there. So you can run toasters and blenders and all that coffee maker type stuff. All the things you're going to need. Um, all of your doors, all of your construction, full hardwood. You notice that uh, you see these wood slats. This is called mortise and tenon construction. What that means in English is that your cabinetry is not glued and stapled together. You don't see big globs of glue holding this thing together. And uh, same thing here, actually, with your drawers. You have real wood drawers. This is all plywood, hardwood fronts on this. You see you have full extension drawers so you can get all the way back here. It used to be drawers only came half out, and then you had to do the old claw hand dig to get to your stuff back there, and you don't deal with that anymore. Standard thing, Rockwood puts in the larger 22-inch oven instead of the smaller 16. Um, whether you do or don't cook in it, you can always use it as like a bread box or anything like that. But again, they spend the money to use a little bit larger, a little bit nicer stuff for you. Um, the big u dinette here, if you have extra guests where your bunk capacity can't hold everyone, you can always put them here. And this folds down to a 7-foot sleeper, so it is a very large bed. And notice that this table here is freestanding. So if you want to uh, take this outside, you want to use it like a picnic table, or if you're grilling, barbecuing, this is your nacho serving table, you can do anything like that. Um, your overhead cabinets, again, all hardwood doors. And notice they have not one, but a double strut system holding this up. Because otherwise, what you're going to have to learn to do is hold that door open with your head, 
hold something that you're getting in one arm and then dig around for the other thing you're looking for in the other arm and eventually you'll drop something to hit your head. Either way, it's not fun. Um, central air and central heat in here. Uh, again, this is this is made to be a very nice product. Now, this is not Four Seasons ready. Most very, I don't, I don't know if any ultralights truly are Four Seasons, but it is going to keep you very comfortable in the summer months. Um, I told you, we have the, uh, the roof vent cover. Uh, and that'll let you run this in the rain, but you see that you have the giant full-size fan in here So that uh, if you want to just open your windows and leave this bathroom door open You can have a very nice breeze rolling through and again when you start looking at ultralights people cut corners Rockwood is not one of them. You still keep the full panel wall surround They use the nicer wall surround with the texture just so that it looks good for you uh, You still have a skylight above the shower to let some light in here and because this whole ceiling if you look you might notice it's sort of barreled a little bit. It's vaulted just enough that you can get some extra headroom in the shower. I always like to point out this does have a full-size sink in the bathroom. You see how large that is. I put my hand in there for scale. So, you know, a grown adult can actually wash their hands in here. Spin you around real quick to the bunkhouse. Now, I, want, I do want to point out Rockwood was kind enough to include a ladder with this so the kids can help can get up there and you don't have to heave them up there. And a cool little thing that the uh, previous folks put on here, there we go, is this little pad here so that no one ends up bumping their head or anything like that. Just a nice little touch. Um, man, they kept this thing clean. This is a good place to show you, actually. There is, there, there rarely, I mean, I, I can't even really picture another time when I've seen strut under the bed to hold the bed up. But this is your construction. Even under your dinette, under your bunk beds, under the master bed, it's all aluminum framework. Everything in this is aluminum framework. That's why these last so long. That's why Rockwoods have the highest resale value in used uh, ultralight RVs. And since you're next to the bunkhouse here, you have uh, extra sleeping space. If you're wondering, these are controllers for heated mattresses that come equipped in this RV. Pretty cool. Looking forward. The uh, previous folks were kind enough to leave the television in here for you, so thank them next time. Uh, well, I guess <laughs> maybe you won't see them, but when you come to see us, you can. Uh, we'll pass along the thanks. And uh, the system down here, this is cool. This thing is very cool. This is a Jensen Series 2. Um, that means that it's AM, FM, CD, it's DVD. It is also Bluetooth enabled. This little button down here. You can sync your phone to this thing. If you really felt like it, there actually is a microphone here. You can technically take calls through your RV speaker system. However, the more common use for it is you wirelessly sync your phone to it. You uh, can fire up your music app and you can play all your uh, music off your phone right here through your RV. Very, very cool stuff. Now, another neat little thing, a little auxiliary power port. So if you have a, a car charger to charge your phone or your uh, mobile devices, you can leave them right here. You can Bluetooth it to your uh, RV. You can keep them charging and you can hear them ringing if you're standing just outside there doing your tailgating like I mentioned. Very smart design. Um, and another fun thing on a Rockwood is one, in the bedroom they use bigger windows and two, they also use a front window still. They're one of the very few who builds an RV strong enough to hold up to the wind force uh, of, that hits the front of the trailer. The front of the RV gets hit with all those big heavy gust winds when you get passed by a semi and Rockwood's been building stuff longer, they build it stronger, that's why they can still do this. Plus you notice they put that fun wind cover on there to really help bulk it up. There's a lot of things I haven't touched on that I've seen just even walking through here just now, guys. So if you're uh, interested, I wouldn't wait because this one's not going to last. This is this is the RV equivalent of someone who bought a, a new car, had it for one year, and traded it in with 5,000 miles. You know, this is, this is all but brand new, and you're going to get a very nice used price tag on it. So give us a ring at 800-256-5196. Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you for watching. Happy camping.